Okay, so season four finale was insane. Can you explain a little bit the time jump and what we can expect in season five? The time jump was so cool and I think right on time, you know, like we've been playing 18 year olds since, well, I was like 23. So I'm pretty excited to be playing like a more mature, grown up, young woman. I mean, it's a six year and seven day, to be specific, time jump. Six years, seven people in space, a lot of them who have never really interacted before. So I feel like it's a bit of a social experiment. It feels it could feel like prison at times. I think it's pretty cool. Like all the girls are kind of split in these different worlds. You have Clark still on the ground. You know, she'd be left behind. You got Raven in space, Manning kind of like the space crew, and then you have like Octavia leading the bunker underground. So it's like underground Earth space. Yeah. There's a big mixed bag of clans in a very small confined space underneath the ground. Octavia's favorite place. Just kidding. The bunker. You're trapped underground with. 13 warring clans that have never gotten along together. So it is just a recipe for drama. <laughs> for us up in space, I know we're probably gonna have to cover why we haven't come down a full year after it's kind of safe for us to come down. So that's our struggle right now is trying to find a way back down to the ground. I'm curious to see, yeah, how everyone's getting along up there. It might be fluid or it might be complete chaos. It'll be interesting to catch up obviously with these people, see how they've changed. Every, every sort of arena we, from under the ground to in space to Clark's lone sort of walkabout for six years. And so part of the fun will be bringing them back together or seeing how they've changed and how they're going to now sort of come together or not to fight this new foe. Do you think you're similar to your character or are you pretty different? I think we're pretty similar, but he is like a very loyal, steadfast friend, and I'm like the worst friend and the worst communicator in the world. So I'm trying to like use Monty. Like, I'm. I want to emulate Monty. How do you differentiate from your character? Are you similar? Are you not like her at all? I mean, I'm not as brave. I'm a scaredy cat. I do feel like a sense of tenacity and determination that she has. Raven, I felt, was such a cool character. Like, she was a woman that stood on her own without any stereotype holding her back, whether it be her sex, her race, her physical ability. Nothing held her back. She broke every stereotype you could put on her. I can relate to the tough girl on the outside but the vulnerable, scared thing on the inside too. My wife tells me that I am Bellamy. I'm not quite sure what she means by that. Maybe it's, the, it's also the hardest character for me to write, so probably because of that. Who knows, because we don't know ourselves that well. Um, but I love them all. They're all sort of voices in my head. You know, when I'm sitting down to work and I hear Clark speaking, that's home, you know. She's my muse and my protagonist and I guess Clark too then probably. And what can we expect for Murphy this upcoming season? I expect Murphy to be Murphy. I'm curious to see with six years up in space which is kind of just like buying time and passing the time for six years. That's a very different thing for him. It's a very different life. So I'm excited to see that side of him and see if kind of he thrives off that as well or if he needs that kind of conflict in order for him to be him. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I'm dumb or weak or incapable of being awesome and that goes for being Latina and that also goes for being disabled. So I love what she represents and I am very proud to to play her. Okay, so 48 episodes with season four. If you guys are lucky enough to hit 100 episodes, a little time jump again, what would you like to see or what would you like happen in the 100th episode? Well, I'd like for most of the people that are there to still be alive. Uh, they probably won't be. That's a really loaded question. Jeez, that was like the hardest one I've had all day. Gosh, I have never thought about that. Um, That's quite a ways off. I think we're in the like 70-ish range. I'm gonna cop out on this question. It's good. I would like to see us continue to to make very good entertaining television. If we get to 100 episodes, God bless our cotton socks, that would be a that would be quite something. I mean, it would have to be something groundbreaking and epic and some sort of call back to like the original 100. Maybe I'd like to see more flashbacks of what life was like on the Ark. I don't know. I can't answer that one. Jeez, Louise, that's a good one for Jason. At the end of the season, right now I'm aiming for this like massive left turn that people hopefully won't see coming uh, that does sort of create a whole, literally another five years worth of material. So.